in the garden. As we left off, we went to go with and with Stinsky. This is all the Something is strange here. Wait. to see. Wait
Oh, it's on this thing. Big dead. Good shot. I failed that. Alright, so I'm kind of confused.
Oh, we didn't mean to come last time, did we? Once again, we're going through the surface. Hello, Jean Mostel, Crypt City of Fallen Hero City. City, b b yeah, Barrett of its soul. Not my home city anymore. My home city's in the past. But it's the home city of the Little Dark One. That's strange. Now I know. The picture is complete. All I saw was just in preparation. The real blow will be delivered at the very last moment, when no one would expect. Corbett boasted he was going to take down the whole of the Metro without spilling blood. He could really do it. The last blood he'd have to spill would be the blood of the Order of Fighters protecting that D6. But they're going to take them by surprise. But at that very moment, Moshkovin is going to be signing the peace treaty with Miller and the others. Because you think it's cute and you kind of want to fight it by yourself, and you heard there's a mouth one involved with protecting the bear. That, uh, and then that angry ass watch just pulls up. She's protecting the children. Watch out! Let me move. Game, 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 game. Game. Oh! 
Why do you keep hitting me and trying to help me? Definitely faster than me. And it's also definitely stronger than me. Why are you targeting me there? Bear, I am a human. I am the most dangerous thing around here. I get that, but I'm not human. It shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, so it is, so it is. A child of the surface, a dark one. No! Don't shoot him, Miller! Then get it away from me! No mask. I should have known. No, Miller. This one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a danger. It seems he is adapting well. Yes, that will keep him alive. May I? Talk to him, Artyom. Come on, Miller. Put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too. You go on without me, before I give in to better judgment and rid the earth of it. Better not. My baby. How is this? Oh, oh, I, I can understand his thoughts, and I can hear yours, Artyom. Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was adopted long ago. Do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you so that they could understand us. What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear. Open this. Oh, no. Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, an exhibition. It has a strong lock, too. We've yet to break it. What's there? The people. They're inside. Sleeping. The hell? Incredible. Look at this. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are yes. all going there now. 
We'll open the door if we can. There's death nearby, all around. But I must wake them, or be alone forever. Now listen. Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hey, hey! Wake, wake up, up, you bastards! Colonel, can you open the gate where the garden's line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Yeah, man, Sergeant Miller. Follow me. Colonel Miller is on our side, big duck one. He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First, he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. All right, we're gonna do this, guys. Artyom, we already knew of Obtobiska from Khan, and we did confront right, Moskvin on the guy, this. Yet he didn't even try to disprove it. Large amounts of. He told them by sheer luck that their chemical defense squad was you know exercising them, right, and, right. and thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this starting epidemic in its bud. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of Metro. What can you say to that? Even I would have done the same. But Colonel, it was Lasnitsky, the agent who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Artyom. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, yes Moskvin did gear up for war, but after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to oh, peace. Please. And we must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin, yeah, no what difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! Oh, what? You got a better idea? You brought this ape here! Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. Go. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. Can I see a book? Oop. What does the book say? Estimated how you made it. How did you survive the inferno? Now I know. When the missiles rained upon the city of the Dark Ones, he was simply not there. Dark Ones, we've been asking ourselves how it happened so that the sent a new sentient life emerged among almost instantly. Why did we take millions of years in ev of evolution and all the Dark Ones needed were a few years? The answer was simple. It was us, people who had brought them alive. They emerged among us. Sequoi, my stepfather, was right. They were the next stage of evolution. Next to ours. We were their fathers. They were our children. We had created so many weapons to destroy ourselves with, and one of those weapons gave birth to them. They are not like us. What kills us makes them stronger. We left them a ravaged, poisoned world, but they learned to live in it. They sustain themselves by absorbing radiation. After being born, they do not enter the world at once. For some time, they continue to exist in a dream, growing and learning from the ones who came to be before them. What we destroyed was their home, but the place where the young ones slept was underground. Close to the botanical gardens, close to the TV tower, it was in the bunkers under the TV buildings, which were connected to D6. When the warheads fell, the entrance tunnels caved in. The Dark Ones, who were almost ready to enter the world, got blocked inside. Instead of them, he, the little one, opened his eyes, awakened by the explosion and the last scream of his mother. Knowing nothing of what had happened, not ready for anything, knowing no nothing of the world, he tried looking for his kin, but he could not find them, because the few survivors continued sleeping. 
Their time to wake up had come and passed. Very soon they could die of hunger without even opening their eyes once. I don't know how calm persuaded Miller, but he was the icon of stoicism and did not reach for his weapon when he saw the Dark One. And the following event shocked me even more, that the plans of the Reds, they were the they were Dark Ones in D6. They were Dark Ones in D6. Khan had hypothesized that they were created artificially before the war. Created as what? Soldiers immune to radiation and having no need for voice communications? Could be so, but then God probably decided to breathe souls with them. God, please let this work out. Therefore, have orders Operation Eldorado shut down. Hail the Reich! Right. Perfect comes in the And, to summarize the official proceedings, I call on the leader of the Red Line, Comrade Bosch. I'm gonna fix my glasses, so that way I can play good. There we go. Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards! Take this man away! Ranger, stand down! Arthur, little one, it's your turn! Alright. All the armies are here. And the far left is the right. Far left. Comrade Moscovin, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. <laughs> Maxim, brother. I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink! Sure, brother. What?! Silent treatment. What are you looking at me with those honest eyes for? In the it book. was your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now he want you dead. he's got was... me by the balls. Corbett... All because of you. Corbett. Corbett. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. Even so, what the hell? What? What was I? I. 
Out loud? Ah, I see. So you gave me something. Just like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes! I did. I poisoned him. But Corbett... I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus. And if that falls into Corbett's hands, the end. But you are the leader. Order him. Call the troops back. You stole them at least. Buy some time to make a deal. There's nothing more we can do here. Hurry. Faster! To the platform! Damn them. I'm not surrendering D6. Follow me! Alright, boys. We're gonna take a break here? No, we're not. Final battle, boys. We're gonna protect this. We will win this war. Anna. This is a weapon. Didn't even wait. Uh, I will survive in this little baby. It will be bad for everyone if you lose. Then I will ask for their help. Thank you, baby. Thank you. You, you win this battle. He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. Hi. We're gonna take a little break here. I will be back for the...